ドジャースとパドレスのディビジョンシリーズ第4戦ここで負けるとシリーズ敗退のドジャースベッツ選手のホームランや大谷選手のタイムリーヒットなどで3回までに5点を挙げブルペンデーとなった投手陣は8人の投手リレーでパドレス打線を7安打で完封しドジャースが8対0で勝利このシリーズは最終戦となる第5戦までもつれることになりましたその調子を上げたベッツ選手が試合後 FOX スポーツの番組に出演しエーロットやジーターやオルティズからインタビューを受けていました The traditional eight pitcher shutout Alex just like we all planned it you know a baseball jam but the Dodgers needed it It's not how they wrote it up but look the, the, the Dodgers starters ERA is 10 the bullpen is about 2.3 so there's your story It's not the way you wrote it up, but you have a game five back in Los Angeles. Absolutely. And let's not forget, we saw the Dodgers offense shine tonight, which is something that has been missing the past couple of days. I mean, we all know that the, 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 the San Diego's Padres have this great pitching staff, but if Mookie doesn't come through, if Shohei doesn't come through, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it when the, when the game, or last night when we found out, it was Dylan Cease versus TBD. Mm. Well, TBD is the MVP of the game. I mean, they had eight <laughs> pitchers went out there. Nice, Cap. <laughs> thank you. They had eight pitchers went out and shut down a hot San Diego, San Diego Padres team. So, game five, here we go. This is what you want to watch. This, if, if anyone told us before the series started, it would come down to a fifth game, we'd all agree to it because mm. these teams are so evenly matched. Now the fun begins on Friday. But Cap, Preach! is exactly what you forecasted and what you said was most important for the Dodgers is to play ahead, especially with TBD, yep. right? And they did that today. <laughs> Mookie Betts, three balls over the walls in three consecutive first innings. Two of them are actually home runs. Oh, I like that. Uh, I like, see what you did there. Uh, yeah, and look, and they did it without Freddie Freeman, right? So you, you take him out and you put Max Muncy at first. He hadn't played there in, in a couple of years. But they never allowed the San Diego Padre, Padres fan base to get into it. Mm. You know, they silenced them right out of the gates. And this is, you know, this this fan base in San Diego, what, they didn't let any Dodger fans there, remember? Then you say no Dodgers, no Dodger fans allowed. But um, what a great job. They showed some fight. Look, this team has been in the postseason for I don't even know how many years in a row. So they've been in these positions before. I know it hasn't worked out in the past, but I tell you what, they have a chance to flip the script. And change the narrative in game five in Dodger Stadium. I got to talk about my boy, Mookie Bet. He's one of the thunder in this line. I mean, he might be one of the most important players in this organization, to be honest with you, throughout the year. I would like to show you guys some clips right here. Nice. Oh, about right. my man showing some love at the gate. Bam! That's my dog. That's the guy I know. When he's having fun out there, his ability take over. He, he, he takes things to the next level. This is the guy that when he get going, the Dodgers get going. And with the help of Otani, I mean, that's why they are where they are. Yesterday, before game three, everyone was talking about Mookie Betts struggling. Now, all of a sudden, he's the hottest hitter in baseball. That's how quickly things can change in the postseason. Our guy, Mookie Betts, who delivered a home run right off the bat and got him going. Talk to your What's guy. What's up, dog? Congratulations on that big win, man. Hey, man, you know you, what? Sir. Thank you, sir. I was talking to the guys right here the past couple of days because everybody, you know, when, when you're not going, everybody get worried. And you know what? I feel familiar with it because that happened to me on my playing days. When I was cold, when I was not getting it done at the moment, everybody get worried. But to be honest with you, I wasn't really worried about you. You know why? Because the captain did a breakdown on your videos hitting. I did a breakdown on your video hitting. We didn't see anything different on what you do when you are hitting and when you are not. In the playoff, anything happened real quick. I mean, you can go 0 for 8 or for 10 or whatever. But tell me what your mentality has been the past couple of days. Whew, man. Uh, for a little bit, you know, I, I was like over 20, over 30 or something like that. And so Who cares? I was just letting it get to me. I, I was really just letting it get to me. And really what was getting to me is that I just wasn't able to help the team. And I just wasn't able to. I know it's going to take everybody, um, but I just wanted to do my part. Um, control the things that I could control and I wasn't man I was I was, I was uh, messing up messing up and not uh, doing my part with the team and so that was that was what was really killing me and so I really just uh, reached down said some prayers reached down deep and, and just tried to become a dog and it worked Mookie what's up this is Derek man great game great last couple games um, how much are you guys looking forward to now going back to LA 
obviously we know how uh, you know this rivalry has gone over the last couple of years and the back and forth that it's been between the players the fans the fans and the players but how do you how, how do you expect the fan base to welcome you guys for a game five and did you expect that this series would probably go the whole way uh, I mean you definitely kind of expects to, uh, expect us to go uh, five games I mean it's, it's been back and forth all year um, you know it Anything can happen in these games, um, but I think uh, it'll, it'll be it'll be great. I think uh, the stadium will be rocking. It'll be loud, um, but we just have to continue to play our game and don't try and do too much. Just control the things that we can control um, and, and come out ready to go. Hey, Mookie, Alex here. Uh, congrats on the big win and congrats on, on the last few nights. Uh, you've hit three balls over the wall in back to back first innings. How deflating was the first one? Profar stole one. And how rewarding was the last two nights when he wasn't able to catch it? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the first one, I, I mean, I, I, that was in the midst of the over whatever. And so that was really deflating. Um, and then yesterday I got to see one fall. I, th I felt, I felt kind of like Steph Curry a little bit. I just needed to see one go <laughs> in. And then uh, I know I could do it. And uh, now, now I have my confidence back and I'm ready to go. Great to talk to Mookie and see him. Uh, Poppy, as you said, having fun, right? Uh, just to feel good. He said he felt like he wasn't helping the team and, you know, got going yesterday and and then hits the big one today and you see the, the difference, right? And, you know, Derek, you talked about it. There was nothing wrong with his swing at all, nothing mechanically wrong. It's just a matter of going out there and keep doing what you're doing and it, and it finally paid off for him. Yeah, it's the gift and the curse of the postseason. You're hot, you're the greatest player on earth. You struggle, what's wrong? What I like to hear from Mookie is said what what frustrated him is he felt as though he didn't have a chance to help the team, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't that he doesn't feel as though he could play or he could hit. It's just after the game, you're sitting there and you feel like you let your teammates down because you didn't contribute, and he's contributed in a big way. Sure. And, and you see it in his face. He's got Mookie's got that big old Magic Johnson smile, and it exudes great energy. And when you're relaxed and when you feel good, you play better. And he's starting to play better. That's trouble for the Padres. Yeah, there you go. So, a uh, big win for the Dodgers. Mookie Betts was great. Otani delivered an RBI in the bullpen with 75 guys out of the pen through a shutout. So, pretty impressive. <laughs> Let's go uh, to X. Uh, Poppy, do you think we should go back to TBD on Friday? Well, <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> well, I think they have some options. Postseason 29 打席のヒット とポストシーズンに打てなくなってしまったベッツ選手。昨日の30打席ぶりのヒットとなるホームランと今日もホームランとタイムリーヒットと貴重な得点を挙げようやくいつものベッツ選手が戻ってきました。チームも勝利しインタビューでもとても安心した表情を見せその嬉しさが伝